Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to thank you for logging in and listening. I'm going to present today how you can utilize the emerging IIoT, in Industrial Internet of Things technologies in your foundries to set your businesses apart from the competition, mainly focusing on how you can generate the data and information needed to increase profit and eliminate bottlenecks. To start out, here's a simple overview of what Industry 4.0 Oh, is everyone has has heard the buzzword industry 4.0 and, and I thought it would be good to explain it a little the first revolution started when we applied steam and water power to the machines for manufacturing the second was the addition of mass production combined with electricity and not, not too long ago we went through the third revolution by adding electronics automation and IT systems today we are connecting all of those systems and machines, electronics, and automation through cyber physical systems. Cyber physical systems integrate sensing, computation, control, and networking into our foundry equipment and then connecting them to the internet and ultimately each other. To begin laying the building blocks for Industry 4.0, you need to have data. Now, many of us already have been collecting data for years, but is it the right data? Is it useful? Data should provide information that can be turned into knowledge, which can help build the intelligence behind making the right decisions. With that data foundation, we can begin to know which levers to pull, which buttons to push to answer some of the most basic, but most important questions, such as, how do we improve OEE, which is overall equipment effectiveness? How do we track OEE? Where am I losing throughput? How can I minimize downtime? What operation is lagging in my machines? Now, OEE, overall equipment effectiveness, uh, the general target is about 80%. And OEE is calculated by multiplying availability, performance, and quality together. This can be done at the individual cell or station, but it really gives you a good indicator of how well your facility is operating when everything is combined for a true overall holistic view. In one of the most popular manufacturing books, The Gold by Eli Goldratt, it was proposed that manufacturing processes consist of multiple complex interlinked activities with the theory of constraints. So looking at your entire process is a must in order to, to improve since everything is intertwined. Our foundries today are typically a melting pot of OEMs and vendors, each with their own data acquisition systems from sand to finishing. Each may or may not have its own method of capturing data. Plus, as a foundry has grown and added new systems, we all know we still utilize 10, 20 or even 30 year old machines to create castings. Couple that with the ever emerging field of remote monitoring, which really isn't anything new, but the advancements in the technology are. And once again, the solutions can be proprietary to certain vendors and not play nice with each other. This all creates a dashboard overload. This is one of the biggest hurdles I see for the future of foundries. From SCADA, ERP, and OEM provided dashboards, data is gathered all over the place and is typically hard to make work together. Oftentimes, this data is gathered and never used, basically put in a box and never looked at again. That overload can also lead a lot of companies to decide to build and maintain an in-house solution custom to their operation. I personally have seen quite a few excellently developed monitoring systems. There are a lot of talented and innovative engineers and personnel in our industry. There are uh, quite a few compelling advantages and disadvantages for building and buying systems. For instance, in-house pros and cons. Pro, there's generally a low upfront cost. Um, customization, you have complete control, what features you want to include, which features you want to exclude. Uh, and of course, um, 
your your own developed system can maybe provide a competitive advantage. And some of the cons, long development lead times, a high cost of ownership, little documentation. Nobody really wants to sit down and document the in-house developed uh, programs. And then it's one of the biggest concerns for in-house development is uh, dependent on just a few individuals. So if, if you have Chuck developing your system, Chuck gets a better offer somewhere else and he leaves, then uh, you are stuck in how to move forward or decipher what he has, has, has created. And then the pros and cons of commercial off the shelf or buying. Uh, pros, immediately available. The software is already, com already developed, ready for application now. Uh, typically flexible and adaptive, or adaptable, that they are for multiple operations, facilities, customers, and maybe even industries providing uh, a broad scope so that they can be flexible and, and adapted to your systems. Uh, a, good, a good pro is professional support. Uh, when it's in in-house, you have, you have to rely on just a few people, but with companies you have professional support, which you can rely on to provide the necessary bug fixes that you need. Um, ongoing development, which doesn't really detract from somebody's normal uh, foundry duties and hopefully complete and thorough testing. But all those pros do come with some cons and there's high upfront costs. You have to rely on the vendor for any customizations you may need. Uh, maybe your request isn't even on their development roadmap. Um, you also have to institute a culture change. A lot of times it's very difficult to get people to use a new tool, a, a new software system, and there can always be integration issues with the, your current systems as well. With all that being said, the biggest downside I see in, is hidden costs. Um, in 2011, PricewaterhouseCoopers research concluded that companies routinely underestimate the real cost of building and operating in-house systems. It found that the main reason for it underestimating the real value was the failure to account for hidden costs, which typically account for more than 50% of the actual cost. So these, these are things that are, are not um, written down on the plan or are not accounted for that can really drive the cost through the roof. Regardless, if you build or buy, you really need to have the same goal in mind. That is to get a clear picture of your entire process with the information your solutions are providing. Most companies operate with many fragmented platforms. It's hard to get a solid understanding of the, the process when looking through a, a, a ton of little pinholes. To be able to generate actionable information, you need to see the entire picture. This is what we call total process visibility. To achieve total process visibility, you need to digitize and visualize every device, motion, and event not just at the asset level, not just at the machine level, but all the way down to the individual motion level. By digitizing everything, you can unify all of your systems and machines, regardless of what vendor or OEM they are, from the melt deck and core room to finishing. This will also help in bringing all your information into the platforms that you utilize. You can have more informed ERP systems, scheduling, quality, maintenance, and even bring accountability down to the operator level. A process visibility system will generate clear, actionable solutions for optimum productivity and efficiency. You can visualize what is wrong now in real time. You can find hidden capacities in areas that are underutilized and eventually start predicting when failures will happen. The World Economic Forum on Collaborative Innovation found that when two companies share resources and engage in collaborative innovation, both are positioned to gain significant value. Plus, you have to have deep domain knowledge and understanding in order to take full advantage of any machine learning or analytics. If you don't understand what your end goal is, how can you sift through the data to get anything of value? That's why Cinto has partnered with Beat, a world industrial technology leader. They bring decades of experience in automated systems and are positioned directly in the heart of the world's automotive capital. 
This allows Cinto and our customers to harness the power of the automotive industry while tapping into our decades of foundry experience. Like an EKG for our hearts, Beats Envision software can capture the heartbeat of your machines and system, giving you complete process visibility. The data is captured through your existing PLCs by adding just a few lines of code. As long as those PLCs have ethernet, the code, code can get uploaded and it has minimal scan time impacts. So no extra sensors or modifications are needed. And once the data is collected, it is then able to be processed and painted for easy interpretation and allow for immediate action. The data gathered can be fed back in real time to production line side monitors, completely customizable to the information the op completely customizable to the information the operators, ship leads, or plant managers need to see. Here I'm showing a, on the top left a mold target monitor to help the operator see what his goal is for the current shift and how close he is, plus tapping into his competitive side by displaying the previous shift's output. Then on, on the top right, there's a, a parts lost in machine state monitor showing how many parts have not been made due to time losses such as blocked, uh, meaning the, the mold couldn't get pushed out of the machine or starved, it didn't get sand, or over cycle time, and of course, faulted time. It also shows visually the current state of the machine. If you look at, below, you can see the, the green block underneath it. Um, it. It'll highlight in different colors, making it easy to see everything is operating with uh, just a glance. Bottom left is OEE calculations. And then the bottom right is cycle view, which in this case shows the sequential operation of a molding machine. So each operation that this molding machine makes is being captured and identified and compared to the ideal baseline time. And it's all color coded based on its performance against that baseline. Instead of losing all that collected data to some deep dark hole, Envision can be used to create dashboards in a matter of minutes to monitor any aspect of the operation targeted to the intended audience. From management to maintenance, some of the examples of the dashboards uh, I personally have created are downtime. So looking at what is the greatest contributor to the machine not running. Uh, so you can you can see the message fault details, the block start summaries, and, and drill down per line. Shift performance, total molds made, average cycle times, all in a shift to shift comparison. Uh, another look at an OE screen, fault analysis, which machines have which faults and for how long and how many occurrences, asset comparisons to compare identical machines to pinpoint which individual movements are causing cycle times to vary, cycle time reports which can analyze the history of the movements within a machine based on which model or recipe you're running, and then some additional live production monitors, so a waterfall analysis, displays real time where each minute in a shift is and each minute can be accounted for. Live message displays, real-time readouts of mess machine messages from faults to blocked and starved. An overcycle, live production status to see what state each line is in, based and broken down by hour. Together with the live dashboards, reports can be generated for benchmarking and sharing across teams even reporting on operator performance. As you can see, the, the data can be sliced and diced in many different ways. So you can bridge the gap, get the answers to where your bottlenecks are, as well as reducing cost, increasing profit, and reduce downtime by implementing a process visibility system, all achieved through digitizing every device in motion building a solid foundation for your Industry 4.0 projects, giving you the right information at the right time when you need it, ensuring lasting competitiveness. So Envision from Cinto and, and, and Beat can help accelerate your foundry performance through 
creating your total process visibility, digitizing and visualizing every device, most of the events, building you a solid foundation for Industry 4.0 can be applied to any PLC driven machine. It's flexible and scalable and cloud based, secure one way data feed, continuous development is the development is continuously ongoing and being driven from the foundry industry as well as the automotive industry. Simple visual and immediate feedback, customizable reports, automatic alerts and notification, and integrating with existing platforms such as ERP systems. And of course, <clears throat> going back to the holy grail of all IoT endeavors is predictive maintenance. To achieve this goal, accurate records and data logging is key. This information along with collected data from the systems can then be analyzed using the latest AI. It's, it's a huge culture change that needs to happen in our industry so we can keep those downtimes closer to zero by having our maintenance logs extremely accurate. Here at Cinto, we have begun partnering with universities to apply machine learning algorithms to better predict failures using the data collected from Envision. And one of the biggest hurdles to this is changing the culture and legacy processes that govern our maintenance record keeping. Without this, we cannot transform preventative to predictive. I, I think this is uh, my call to action for everybody. If we want to really fully embrace Industry 4.0. There needs to be accurate logging, record keeping, and appropriate data. And so we currently have two I IoT systems that can be applied to any equipment, not just Cinto equipment, anybody's machines. It's OEM and vendor agnostic. Envision and our remote monitoring sensors. If you'd like further information, just reach out. Uh, we'd be more than happy to talk about these products.